What up, what up, what up? What's good with y'all? Y'all know how I said I wasn't gonna be vlogging the SC updates and blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Well, a lot of y'all said that y'all still want to see SC updates and stuff uh, because I personally felt like the content was boring, but apparently you guys like it and you guys, I guess, want to keep up with the SC. So uh, today we got another update on the SC. Even though I said I wasn't, since so many of y'all want me to continue to vlog the SC, I will. We're about to head over to Hexa Garage right now. About to get out there. I got a lot of new parts that I'm about to drop off. I'll show y'all those when we get there. And I need to um, reflash the ECU for the G35. Uh, RZG sent me a new reflash since I'm swapping the, the ECU from the 350Z over to the G35. But while we're over there, we can also check out the LS3. And for, for those that don't follow on Instagram, we definitely had some issues with the LS3. Uh, we did a leak down test on it. Everything seemed perfect. and you know all the cylinders until we got to cylinder number seven so uh, cylinder number seven ended up having about i want to say uh when we first checked it, it was about 15 percent leak down then the second time we checked it probably from you know rotating the motor the rings shifting it had 20 percent leak down so i had brett just go ahead and take the motor apart and then we noticed that you know the side of the piston was all it was all scuffed up the cylinder walls had some scuffage to it but um nothing too crazy but we are going to repair that cylinder i was thinking about kind of just going through and rebuilding the whole thing but after talking um you know talking and thinking about it um the cheaper option would to be just to repair that one cylinder since all the other cylinders checked out perfect with less than uh, two percent leak down so we are going to repair that cylinder a light hone with new rings and possibly uh replace it with a new oem piston and then get the that way the leak down and everything's back perfect with all the other cylinders luckily it's only that one cylinder that had kind of like a you know leak down leak down issue but as uh, far as the rest goes, they're like perfect. So there's really no need in taking the whole motor apart and rebuilding at this point because say if something happens now or uh, say if something happens later, I have that option to just go fully forged and rebuild it. But for now, I kind of just want to get it in, get it running, get it tuned. Uh, should be perfectly fine, but that's where we're at with that. But let's get up out here real fast. Let's, let's hit this drive in and jet to Santa Rosa. Man, everywhere I go, I got to cross a fucking bridge. Everywhere. All my cars always across bridges at the homies. Let's see if we can use some clout. Hey man, I'm doing YouTube videos. Let me cross the bridge for free and I'll give you a shout out. <laughs> oh, never mind. You wanna go free, huh? Yeah, man. Bridge too expensive. No, it is. They keep raising the price. Yeah. Every year, a dollar and the road's still fucked up. <laughs> oh, did he click pay? You better click pay. I got video proof. I paid. What's up, fool? What's up, <laughs> oh yeah the many it's all resurfaced so my man jake right here did these nice crispy wells look at that they look good man yeah it's kind of hard getting into here but the rest was easy they look good yeah. nice little dimes well this material is, is a lot nicer to weld hella thick mm -hmm. so I'm doing my manifold on that thing. It's probably not gonna turn out as nice. It's a little bit thinner material, or quite a bit thinner material. Now look, look at the look at the GoPro and look yeah. how it looks on camera. Yeah, it, it oh, looks blue, that. dude. It looks yeah. blue it looks, in the yeah. GoPro. I hate I hate the way it looks on Which, on the GoPro. I don't hate that. Dude. It looks cool actually. Nah, it looks <laughs> that shit looks like hella blue. It looks baby blue. That's Any I'm blue or eh. like it doesn't look how it looks in person. So y'all remember last time when we had the manifold on, we were running to the issue where the breather was basically hitting the exhaust housing on the turbo. So we're gonna try something a little different. We're gonna try these radium inserts. These are little press-in fittings. What are these? Hopefully these will clear. They just 90 straight back, so hopefully. Got new valve covers right here. Exhaust manifold. A little cover, a little heat shield, and some header wrap for the, the new downpipe that's going to get made, and the two new dump tubes, and also about to upgrade to some Audi R8 coil packs. Didn't want to run into no issues with spark, so decided to upgrade to the uh, R8 coil packs. Hopefully these don't give us any issues at a thousand, but we'll see. I think right now I'm, I'm pretty pretty high up there on what's actually been made on the stock VBTI coils with the waste spark without a external igniter so i'm pretty sure we're at the limits on what this is going to do with the factory ignition system look heads beautiful still all fresh and clean mm -hmm. 
straw pickup. side. Let's get this jammy f flashed real quick. So George is like master VQ wiring dude over here, and I was telling him the issue that we were having with the, uh, the G35, and he pointed out like some uh, some interesting shit that I didn't know. So maybe it's not my IPDM that's bad, and he said that the harnesses are different between the 350Z where they make power for the 350Z and G35 plugs. Yeah, power and ground are are three different plugs on each harness. So on the G, the gas pedal's on the F1 plug. On the Z, it's on this other plug here. And also, you know, powers the grounds right here. Two ground straps, powers through here. So, yeah. so that so the extra plug that we added on the uh, G35 that came off the 350, the ground that goes under the dash, which which one is that on here? It's right here. This is black and red and black wire. Yeah, yeah. Because when before we pull pulled that plug off the 350Z and put it on the G, it wouldn't even crank. Yeah. So no grounds. So exhaust manifold on. Getting ready to get torqued down. I uh, hate how these lines are, so I'm, I'm really thinking about doing a ABS delete. ABS on here probably doesn't even fucking work, so could clean up a lot by getting rid of all these lines in this whole unit. So we'll we'll see, but more than likely I am going going to do an ABS delete. So let's go in here and fuck with this full real quick for a quick second. Don't look like you building, bruh. Man, get out of here. <laughs> Good thing I wasn't getting a fat pump. Right? In here <laughs> frapping off. Pornhub. What's up? Jesus man? Christ. You trying to get one of those? I'll never spool this thing. Put this spoolie boy on your shit. You'll be fucking... Making, never spool. <laughs> making 2,500 horse. Dude, this thing is gargantuan. So what are you doing, man? I'm just uh, working on my uh, Pikes Peak. I'm not going to... I'm begging, not begging for money shit on the internet. Oh, you out here sending out your proposal? Yep. <laughs> you know what that's like, right? I don't got a proposal. What? Nope. You gotta get one. You gotta be pro. I know. I'm trying to be professional. Look at all you these trophies. A, you have a messy ass. <laughs> all these trophies. That's how you. That's how you know you're winning. What are you getting done? You getting your wiring done? Yeah. Over there, just chilling with the SC and shit. Young ready. What's up, fool? How you doing? I'm good. How about you? Cool. Right on. So yeah, here's the, uh, the LS3. This fool stripped this jammy all the way down. Look, new valve springs in here. Oh, look, some crispies. But yeah, this is a cylinder that was having issues, cylinder number seven. So yeah, right there. Y'all can y'all can kind of see the scratches right there. So it uh, it feels smooth. Wouldn't have been a big deal, but like I said, this this cylinder did show a little bit of leak down so we're gonna swap a new ring in here and uh, just clean it up can't really feel it, it feels smooth but I'd rather just repair it versus uh, running it and then possibly have an issue later but the rest of the cylinders everything is good in these ones everything was less than two percent so cheap quick way um, is to just repair it and then just send that thing these are the bearings that came out of that piston a little bit of wear, but nothing, nothing crazy for a motor that has 80,000 miles. That's about normal. You can see it right there, right here a little bit, but everything's smooth. So this bearing is, it's fine. Probably just rip, uh, replace all the bearings. But I want to show you all the piston skirt. There you go. You can see it on the piston skirt right there where it was rubbing on the wall. As long as it works, we can get it in running. Yeah. Then you already know it's gonna be yeah. full send. Yeah, we could, probably could send it without that, but I mean, it, this should lower your uh, oil consumption, may help it not be a smoker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I think it'll be fine. We'll know for sure when we get it back together with the the leak down. Just run a catch can. Nope. 
<laughs> Factory look. I'm not putting the catch can in that shit. Nah, I'm around the catch can. <laughs> so it's a uh, exhaust rocker. This is not offset, and it's got the the trunnion upgrade there. You keep all the needle bearings in over time, and yeah, that's about it. It's reliability mod. Should have went with the cool comp looking ones. Uh, like next door. Yeah, I see. I just seen those over there. I'm like, yeah. damn, I should have got those yeah, ones. Cool. <laughs> Why well, should look pretty tight? Yeah, those do look tight. And then these ones look. That shit looks baller. All comp shit. This is an offset intake. Um, yeah, no big deal really, but reliability. We're trying to be yeah. cheap, cheap and reliable this time. A couple guys spilled their rocker arm bearings and now everyone does this, you know what I mean? <laughs> a couple guys on the internet fucking spilled the bearings out. Now, now it's a must do fucking upgrade. So 17 hours into uh, bottom boats, he had to switch. We had to get little mini hands in here. This is a dude that usually works on all the uh, 300ZXs and 3000GTs. Anything with tight motor fitment. All right, so just getting back to the house and hell of y'all been asking what's up with the 300 ZX. So I'm gonna show y'all, maybe in the next video, I'll finally uh, get this thing back together and stop, stop playing. So the stud extractor finally arrived for this thing. Yeah, I'll make a, hopefully sometime this week, I can actually get to this, but for now, let me, let me, let me get some WD-40 on that jammy. I'm gonna just keep soaking this thing up. Hopefully it comes out. So I'm gonna just keep applying WD-40 on this thing. So yeah, I'm gonna just keep soaking that thing up and then hopefully uh, when it comes time to pull it out, sometime this week I can get it out without it breaking off on me or breaking off in there because then I'm gonna have to take this shit all the way apart, which I really don't wanna do. So if I can get this stud out, I promise y'all I will have some content uh, getting a new turbo and everything on and having this car back together starting it back up because all this car needs is a tune like this shit is ready to pretty much go i just need to get the new turbo on and then get it tuned but that's all that's been holding it up is this stupid manifold but since we found out the old injectors were clogged this car actually might not even need to be retuned i probably have to reflash my old tune back on there because we kind of started fucking with it when the injectors were bad and uh, once I put the new injectors in, it was running like ass hella rich, probably because we we're trying to compensate for so much fuel, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But um, maybe if I upload my old tune back to I was, uh, this car will start run up cool, and then we'll just do some fine tuning on the dyno. But this car is like really not that far off. I'm just being lazy with it because I'm trying to finish other things. But yeah, y'all see it soon. But I'm wrapping this up. So till next time. Oh yeah. Uh, make sure y'all go check out Paradox video because we are doing a lot of networking and stuff together and we've been doing videos and stuff because he has a G35. Uh, I went out there the other day but I didn't vlog, he was vlogging so make sure y'all go check him out. Uh, yeah, Paradox the Rapper. Description will be down below. You can click the link and watch the videos. But yeah, bye, 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 bye. See y'all later. <laughs> Wanna holler then I'ma give you a choice if you really wanna holler then I'ma give you a voice.